Hi there, and welcome to CHM 2120 Organic Chemistry 2. My name is Allison Flynn, and I'm the professor for the course. Uh, I've been teaching this course for over 10 years now, and it's a course that I really enjoy teaching, uh, and I hope that you'll enjoy taking it. Um, so don't worry, the course does not actually start until September, uh, but I wanted to open the course up at least and let you take a look around in Brightspace um, and also offer the option too, to, to meet up a few times over the summer before the, the course starts. So this course will be taught remotely for the fall of, of 2020, uh, which means that there's going to be some synchronous times. That's where we do a video conference um, and there'll be a number of asynchronous things to do. And that's where you'll be uh, watching videos, answering quizzes and interacting um, in other ways with students in the class. So if you just take a look uh, over in Brightspace uh, really quickly, you probably land in the overview section when you first jump in. Uh, but what I'll invite you to do is to go over to the syllabus and class information first. So the syllabus will be available certainly by late August. You won't find it there just yet. Uh, but what would be great if you could do is to complete the questionnaire uh, to start the course. It'll do a couple of things. One, let me know if you do want to dro drop into the course, um, have a few sessions before the, the course actually starts. Um, and what I'll ask is if you want to actually talk about organic chemistry, just meet other people in the class, maybe practice and get more efficient at learning in a remote or online course. So you can answer that questionnaire as soon as you can, if, if you could. Take a look around Brightspace. Everything's going to be organized into modules and we'll follow those in order. So essentially before each class, you'll have a video or text to watch or read. Um, you'll have a pre-class quiz to do. Class notes, so that's what the times we'll be doing a video conference together, which will always be recorded. So you can always take a look afterwards. Um, and then there's always a series of problem sets and answers that'll be available to you. If you want at any time, you can go into the discussion forum and in the discussion forum, you can ask uh, general course questions. Feel free to ask anything you want in there. I prefer that you use that method uh, instead of using email to the extent that you can, except for things that are confidential. Uh, and then you can look, take a look if there's anything in module one and I'll keep adding in sections uh, for each of the modules that we do. Finally, I invite you to take a look over in the resources section. There's a few things in here that might be helpful to you. First uh, is a section on excelling in online learning. Uh, we know that this is new for most people who are going to be taking this class to be entirely online, and we want you to be successful in that. So what we've put together, and I say weeks, I've worked with a number of other people on this. Um, one is a tip sheet about online learning. Second is an online learning or work plan. Um, and you can either use that in the PowerPoint version so you can adapt it for yourself or just print out uh, or use the PDF version. This online learning and work plan is actually one that I use myself and that many of my research group members use as well. I'm going to be filling in a section with course specific resources. And then we have a number of UOttawa services that I hope will be helpful to you. Uh, health services, which have uh, both physical and mental health services involved. We have the Science Students Association at the University uh, of Ottawa, a fantastic group of people to uh, connect with and learn more about the faculty. Student Academic Success Services, and I encourage you, especially over the summer, to look at some of the um, workshops and webinars and Q&A sessions that they're offering because they're really working hard to help people be successful in this fall of online learning. The Faculty of Science has an Office of Undergraduate Program, so if you have questions about your degree, credits, anything like that, there that's a great place to go. Um, and we also have a link about sexual violence, um, both support and prevention. So I'll also invite you to take a look at that, um, whether it's for yourself or to help uh, a colleague in the, in the class or someone else in the university environment, make sure that we help to keep each other well while we're here in this university community. So lastly, I know that we're all working through a pandemic and for some people that situation is a very easy one, uh, but for other people, uh, this has been an extremely hard time, uh, both from perspectives of isolation and anxiety, but also um, either people's own health, their family members' health, either directly affected by COVID-19 um, or because of the situations re re related to or impacted by that. So. All that to say that I know we're working under new circumstances and very often very challenging circumstances. So do feel free to reach out to me, to the TAs in the course, to the, your classmates. Um, we, we really need to be supportive of each other during this time, helping each other out, listening to each other. Um, and so do know that that's going to be an important consideration in this course. 
If you need anything, if you're struggling with something, please do reach out. So that's it for now. I look forward to meeting you um, and please feel free to ask questions at any time. Um, you can contact me through my email address or um, you can use the discussion forum. Take care.